Hello, welcome to my channel. I'm Bing Lei. So in today's video, I'm gonna tell you how I feel about Charlotte Tilbury's Welcome No Shame this collection, and of course that includes their jewel box and their lip bags and their blush palette and of course their eyeshadow quad. So let's start from their eyeshadow palette, shall we? As you can see today, I'm wearing this Walk of No Shade makeup. I've been using these uh, shades all the time. Personally, I really, really like this collection. But I think there's some information if you're just someone who's curious about this collection, not sure if you want to buy it, uh, you probably want to know. So here. This is the palette. In this quad, there are two formulas, which these are the setting kind of formula, and this one is the real, the big sparkle. From my experience, I think this quad is very pretty, very delicate, and very whiny. <laughs> it does feel like you only had a glass of wine, give you that kind of like a little bit of smoky, but not too much blush. And talk about how often do I use this? I would say this one is pretty enough for a dinner night, but I feel like if you're going to the office, this will be too flirty. That's just my uh, personal opinion. These four shades are rather beautiful, but the darkest one isn't dark enough to really deepen your out corner and to give you a defining of that kind of look. So for me, these are the great shades for going out for dinner, but I won't use this so often to just go to work. But there are no problem with the formula. They are just as gorgeous as others. I think if you worry about the formula, they're just as great as uh, Charlotte Tilbury's usual uh, quality. Again, these are my personal preferred but if you would wear this kind of reddish color, go for it. And next, this blush palette. Um, this palette actually surprised me. I used it more often than I thought I would, and I found another way to use it, which is great for me because when I look at this, I was like, oh, so when am I gonna finish this palette? Anyways, the other way I've been using this palette is as eyeshadow palette. I use this palette did my this eye look. I mean if you really go close you can tell the difference but if you're this far within a two meters distance nobody's gonna notice the difference. So as eyeshadow I really like it and as a blush I think this color is if you have the similar skin tone as mine I think this shade is a little bit darker for essential use. Then again if you're going out for dinner this is a great color. I'm using this today and it's not that dark as you thought it would be. I think if this is on even darker skin, it will look absolutely gorgeous. And here we go, our jewel box. When I was looking at this, I wasn't even sure if I'm gonna get it because um, when I know I'm gonna buy that eyeshadow quad, there's one sparkle shade there already. So I'm like, oh, do I get this or not? So eventually I got it. I'm gonna show you right here. It's very fine, it's very delicate. Uh, it's not gonna blind your eyes if you're expecting that kind. It really feels like a very fine uh, a piece of a jewel shade. It has pink and gold glitter in it. Again, very fine, the general Charlotte Tilbury style. So about this, I think it really depends your expectation. If you're expecting something really glittery, really shiny, like blinding, probably this is not the best choice, especially consider about the price of this one. But if you're somebody just looking for something very fine, very delicate, and especially using fingers very handy you can just dip your fingertip into there or wipe on your eyelid and then you're shiny and the last one I bought from this collection is their lip bath this lip bath is gorgeous the shade is also walk of no shame when I look at it online I thought this shade might be too dark and then when I actually used um, the formula is amazing it's so comfortable and it pumps your lips and with a little bit minty hint make you look very fresh and 
it's shiny but not oily it really just give you a glass lip that kind of feeling and especially if you're somebody like me who has a small lips you want a little bit of pumping up you want a little bit just a little bit of hint of you know the sultriness um, you don't want it too big lips these are the great choice just when I'm preparing for this video I was gonna wear this then I was like no I'm gonna show you in camera the smell of this is so so sweet it really is like um, mint candy and the applicator it still is the hard shape it's so comfortable I usually would just put in the center a little bit and the shade is more or less like a mauve shade um, you can apply it on uh, just a lip pencil or your lipstick and just give a hint I almost like to use this as a lip balm because the formula is just so comfortable so these are the four products I bought from this collection. I believe there is still an eyeliner in there with a burgundy shade. Uh, I didn't buy that because uh, I don't see myself using a burgundy eyeliner so often. So opinion from me about this eyeshadow quad. If you're somebody who would wear this kind of red-ish, wine-ish uh, eyeshadow, go for it. It's very beautiful. So for this blush, I would actually recommend you to buy it if you're curious about this collection but you don't want to spend that much money on everything go for this blush because like I just told you you could use this as a blush and you could use this as a eyeshadow and about this jewel box I think this would make a great gift for somebody who already into this brand and they already probably have thousands of their palette and this will be a great gift for them to just tip top on the tip and is like extra glamorous but if it's for essential this will be too subtle maybe then again if you're a subtle girl if you're elegant just want a little bit of glitter go for it and the last one I mean their lipsticks are the star products I think no matter what formula so I think if you're somebody who's just looking for a safe products that make sure whenever you put on them you're gorgeous go for Charlotte Tilbury's lips so that's my opinion about this collection uh, I think probably it's the best time to let you guys know before Black Friday so yeah, I hope you enjoyed watching and I hope my opinions are helpful for you. Uh, if you have other questions, you can ask me in the comments. I'll answer if I know the answer. Uh, yeah, I hope uh, you have a lovely day. I'll see you next time. Bye!